It's Friday Memorial Weekend and we're getting ready for what I hope is at least one morning of astrophotography. We're actually going on a bike ride over in the mountains of West Virginia and I'm going to go to my favorite sunrise location that I've ever been to, Bear Rocks in the Dolly Sods Wilderness. So our objective there will be to hopefully capture Comet 2020 F8. We also are going to have a bunch of things on the agenda. Always a time-lapse Milky Way opportunity. Two of those actually I'm going to work on. We might do some deep sky imaging if the weather cooperates right now. Everything is very sketchy on the weather, but I think we might get a window and uh, maybe we'll just get some landscape, great sunrise landscape shots. I realize that many of you don't know me and don't know my history and certainly don't know of the area that I'm talking about here when I reference the mountains of West Virginia. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a background on really what is my playground in the state. And it's my playground for cycling and for astronomy. And in particular, it's the Monongahela National Forest. The Monongahela National Forest really is a, a long, slender stretch on that Allegheny Ridge that is on the easternmost part of the state. The reason for astronomy is the, this is home, what you see here, I have this cross arrow centered on Spruce Knob. That's the highest point in West Virginia, about 40, 4,800 feet. And it's the northeast, northern part of the, the cylindrical part of the National Forest. But you can see here we are looking at Bortle 2 and 3 skies. And what you see here, that I'm moving my cursor around, that section right there is pretty much the Monongahela National Forest. So anywhere in there is good for astronomy, astrophotography. But here's where I went. This is Memorial Weekend, Sunday night. It's called Seneca Rocks. It's right here in the heart of the... Monongahela National Forest, and I've had this composition in mind for years. I was familiar with the location. Google Maps can allow you to get a pretty decent visualization, at least of the orientation in the sky. And this is the Seneca Rocks, and you'll see here in a minute, this is pretty much my exact composition, minus a tree or two. Of course, we had the summer Milky Way starting to arch up here around midnight, 1 a.m., this is my playground, the Monongahela National Forest. I take a lot of photos over here. Of course, around the Monongahela National Forest are numerous wildlife refuges, state parks, Canaan Valley State Park, Blackwater Falls State Park, numerous state forests. I consider it a national park level type of an experience for the whole family. But in particular, we're talking about photography and astrophotography, and it's just a great location for astroscapes as well as deep deep sky astrophotography and if you're an observer I've run into an observer up on Spruce Knob from Buffalo New York he traveled down here regularly for the skies in the and probably what are the best east of the Mississippi 
I, I would think, uh, at least on the top five in uh, Monongahela National Forest. So if you haven't been, I encourage you to check it out. It's worth it. Okay, we are out here working on some flats for our Rasa 8 inch that we've been using over the last three out of the last four nights. So what we're going to do here amongst the, amongst the bugs and uh, twilight is just fill in some of the gaps on the Seneca Rocks Milky Way shot in the Monongahela National Forest. And just to give you a little bit of background on that trip, so I had a lot of plans that involved going up to Bear Rocks. So I'd set out for Bear Rocks on the bike ride that day. And that's about an hour drive from where we were in Canaan Valley. It's about a 2,000 foot climb up a you know, forest gravel road. And I got about three quarters of the way up and I started running into cars parked on the side of the road. And I thought, well, maybe there's a, an outing on some of the remote trails. And, but I, and I just kept running into cars. And there was at least 70 cars. And that's when I really started to get concerned. It started to enter my mind that the gates to the National Park, the National Recreation Area, were possibly closed. And I go a little bit further and sure enough they were. I just couldn't believe it. I was hoping it wasn't COVID-19 related. I thought maybe there was a road slip or maybe there was a tree down. It never occurred to me that it could be COVID-19 related. So I actually came down, went back up another entrance, same 2000 foot climb and ran into another lock gate. And that's the next day I checked on the website and sure enough, it, we had a remote wilderness area closed for COVID-19. I just found that hard to believe. Thank goodness we had a backup plan. This is a composition I envisioned a long time ago. The skies were gonna possibly give me a break and it was at Seneca Rock. This is our setup that we used. This is the first time I've used the Canon RA, the hydrogen alpha sensitive camera for a Milky Way in the landscape shot, and I think it really paid off. It really picks up the dust and the hydrogen alpha uh, line within the Milky Way, and there's a lot there, and it helps provide some, some of the dusty contrast and um, nebulosity pops out. And I use the 24 millimeter. It's an F1.4, I believe a shot for 10 seconds at F2, and I stacked eight of those together for the Milky Way, and I actually stacked four or five together for the landscape, and I think I did 30 second exposures on the landscape just to reduce the noise in the foreground. I, I like to keep the landscape looking dark. This is a night sky. But what you have on the rocks, the illumination you see on the rocks is actually there's a grocery store and a gas station that's down in the valley there, and they actually provide a little bit of light that goes back up in the, on the valley and on that ridge and onto the rocks. So that was what we used for the landscape at Seneca Rocks. I was really happy with the result. As you can see in the image, we were in between clouds. I have a matter of fact, we had a pretty thick cloud bank come through about 1130. I knew my window for the Milky Way was gonna be around midnight. Being up in the mountains, I know, just give it some time. Generally, these things can pass and work their way through. That's a lot of localized cloud generation. So, and that's what we did and I had a gap and I took advantage of it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna end this video with some of my best shots from the Monongahela National Forest and with a little bit of video that I put together for a water flow workshop that I did several years ago in the Monongahela National Forest. So I hope you enjoy these images. The first image I'll go ahead and that'll be the Seneca Rocks Milky Way. Uh, also place in some landscape and some other uh, Milky Way and uh, astronomical images from the Monongahela National Forest. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to Jeff Ball Photography YouTube channel. And I hope all is well with you guys and have a great week and clear skies.